Hello once again and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Andras. Hello, my name is Theodor. We're doing a comparison between two popular binoculars categories, 7x50 and 8x56. These binoculars are indeed popular uh, among binoculars users and mm -hmm. they often can decide between which one to choose. So we get a lot of questions. Yeah. Should I go with 8 by 56 or should I go with 7 by, by 50? So let's elaborate on general features first. Well, general features are like, let's start with 8 by 56. 8 by 56 binoculars are very diverse because you can get them with three different uh, prism types. You can get them with uh, either Schmidt and Pechan prisms like this, let's say the Steiner. Uh, they can come with Abe Koenig prisms like uh, Swarovski SLC, uh, Zeiss Victory SF, uh, oh, Dr. Noblex, and Noblex, Blazer. Blazer yeah. Yeah. So you can get them with Abe Koenig prisms and you can get them with Poro prisms. So with all three prism types. You can get them with either open bridge design, like on this Delta. You can get them with uh, single hinge design, like on, on this Steiner, and normally normal single hinge poro prism design. So really, yeah. many differences. Many differences. Features, then, yeah. focusing can be either central, or you can have them with individual focusing separated for each eye. So really diverse. In terms of materials, uh, the most affordable models come with a plastic housing, I would say mid-range come with the uh, aluminium housing and top range, the best among them, especially Zeiss and Swarovski, they come with a magnesium housing. They're all waterproofed and filled with uh, nitrogen gas. Price-wise, they start at 3, 000, uh, 350 euros and they go all the way up to 2,500 euros. So really wide range. Um, if you go to 7 by 50, it's far more easy. Almost all 7x50 binoculars come with a poro prism, with individual focusing, and they're rarely made out of magnesium. They're usually either from plastic or made from uh, aluminum. What is different, because a lot of 7x50, or majority of them, is meant for uh, marine use. They come with materials which, are, um, which can withstand salt in seawater and which can withstand a lot of sun, direct sunlight. What I also need to mention is that with 8x56 you can get multiple position eye cups or foldable eye cups like on, on the Steiner. With 7x50 you always get only foldable, foldable yeah. eye cups. Okay, these are I would say the general features. We can go to suitability. Yeah, if we Why take a look at the 7x50 category first, we have uh, binoculars meant for two types of uses here. We have, uh, they're either meant, meant for marine, such as the Steiner Commander, or this Fujinon here. Yeah, you can get them also with the uh, compass, integrated you compass. Can, uh, yes, these marine use. binoculars are also available but with compass. And as you said, they're designed for everything that a ma marine binoculars needs. They're waterproof yeah. and so on. The other types, type of use is twilight hunting. Yeah. So hunting in dusk, really different. So we have marine yeah. and we have hunting in twilight here. And honestly speaking, it would look really funny if you would go on twilight hunting with a marine binoculars. <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah. It would probably provide you with decent light transmission rate, but still, yeah. it would be funny. Yeah. If we take a look at the 8x56 category, this is strictly for twilight hunting. Yeah. So hunting in the dusk. And on. And on, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if I go through the optical differences, if I go... Let's say and first check the differences between field of view. Usually 7x50 have a little bit wider field of view. Uh, the best 7x50 binoculars have around 145 meters of field of view, 140. 8x56 are usually on average around 125 meters of field of view. This also has to do with lower magnification, right? Yeah. Uh, if we talk about the exit pupil, the exit pupil is almost the same. 7 millimeters here and 7 millimeters there, give or take. Uh, 7.1 and 7 uh, short. Uh, so roughly the same. If we talk about size, 8x56 uh, binoculars are always taller than 7x50. So you can always find that 8x56 are a bit taller than 7x50 and usually they're also a little bit heavier. But all of them are heavy, all of them are big. So when you're carrying 1.2 kilogram around your neck, it doesn't make much difference if it's 1.3 kilogram because it's <laughs> already right. very heavy and very, very big. 
Um, okay, if I compare the comfort of use, uh, looking through it with comfort, they're both really comfortable because of the huge exit pupil. Uh, if you have the uh, individual focusing like all 7x50 binoculars have, it's also very comfortable because you don't need to focus anything. You just put them on your eyes and the eyes focus through the binoculars. I also think that uh, pull-out eyepieces play a huge role in comfort as yeah, well. Yeah, that's when we come to glasses. Yes. When you come to glasses, if you wear glasses like myself, then 8x56 with adjustable eyepieces are a must because with 7x50 with this fold-down eyepieces, it just it doesn't work well, honestly yeah, it speaking. It takes 20 seconds for you to pull them yeah. down before you can use them. And if you use them uh, pulled down or um, folded down like this all the time, You'll sooner or later rubber. you will damage the rubber. So uh, in terms of comfort for eyeglass wearers, 8x56 uh, will be better. Size and weight, we already explained. Price-wise, 7x50 are usually a little bit cheaper. Yeah. A couple of hundred euros cheaper. Uh, we have two main competitors, 8x56 uh, Night Hunter from Steiner and 7x50 Fujinon. There is about 200 euros of uh, price difference. So 7x50 is usually a little and bit cheaper. And we take a look at the whole price range. The the 7x50 category stops at around 1,500 euros. And yeah. for more even less, 1,200 yeah. euros. Yeah. These are usually more expensive yeah. as well, right? For uh, low light hunting, it stops sooner. It stops it's at 800 euros yeah. already. Yeah. There it stops at, at a much higher step, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go through which one to take when. It's really yeah. easy. So yeah, it's really easy. If you're a sailor, okay, you have a separate 7x50 7 7 50 category 50. here. But if you're a hunter, so... 8x56. 8x56 or 7x50, it's, yeah. it's a difficult decision. I would say price is one factor, because yes. both of them will perform well in twilight hunting. If, however, you also use your binoculars for other types of hunting, uh, let's say that you are not having only, uh, if you have only one piece of binoculars for do it all, but you do a lot of low light hunting, then 8x56 would be a better choice because when you're using it for, let's say, roe deer hunting, when it's, the light is still quite strong, you will still see better all the details with 8x56 than with 7x50. And their central focusing will give you the opportunity to focus closer so the close focusing range is, is uh, shorter on 8x56 than 7x50. So it's, it's a close call. I would say if yeah. you have it only for low light hunting, only for uh, when you're using the light from the moon, then 7x50, you will save some money and still have a perfect optic. But it also depends on whether you compare the poro prism yeah. or the roof prism here again, True. right? Another comparison. <laughs> it's, it's, I would say like this, if you want to have an all-around usable binoculars which do excel in low light conditions, 8x56 with the Abbe Koenig prism will be probably the best choice. You'll get the best res resolution, you will get, I would say, good uh, performance when you're using it on road deer and so on, but it, it will perform also well in low light. If, however, only low light hunting is of your interest, then you come to Poro prisms, either 8 by 56 or 7 by 50 and here I would say the main uh, the main difference will be the price because optically they will perform really really similarly you won't gain much with 8 time magnification over 7 time magnification and in terms of low light uh, transmission and so on they will be almost equal in terms of field of view Maybe 7 to 50 will give you a little bit of advantage, but you will not really notice it. So here, I think that the main decider will be the price point. If this is your second or third pair of binoculars, then you can say, okay, I'll go with 7 by 50 to, to save some money. That's and that's it. basically it, right? Yeah. Okay, I, you can do the... Yes, I think up. that we covered everything. Uh, if you found the video useful, leave a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have some individual re reviews on the models you can you're free to check them out. And thank you for watching and see you in the next debate. Goodbye. Yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.